Nation, and this is YBE TV. You already know what it is today. I want to talk to my boy Johnny Boy Wonder. He hit me up, but first, I want to let you know hit me up on the website at www.ybetv.org. And you already know I'm going to come right back with you with a video to answer your question. This one is titled Glider Kits. Not familiar with that, Johnny, but it say, Hey, brother, love the videos, man. Very informational. Uh, my name is Johnny. My question to you is, do you know anyone else who knows any good companies that accept gliders? I looked into SLT, which, by the way, you were right. They are a great company to run under, but they won't accept my truck of choice. They said it needs to be California legal. I have, I never had any intentions of running California, but that seems to be one of their biggest lanes. The truck is a 2017 Kenworth W900 sleep Studio Sleeper, 12.7 liter Detroit. Uh, would liquid transport transport tankers be a good move? Um, now I'm not gonna lie. I just looked up gliders, and for the people that's out there that don't know, because I'm one of those people. It said a glider kit is a new truck without an engine or transmission that has remand rears that are factory installed. Glider kits retain the factory warranty on the cab and chassis of one year, 100,000 miles. Okay, I, I don't, I still don't understand that. I, I don't get that. I don't know what a glider kit is, bro. But let's just say it's not California legal. Uh, California legal normally is a car, a truck that has to have, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, some type of thing with the region system. You got to be able to have a region system from what my understanding was for California. But um, you said 2017, so I'm not 100% sure. But what I can say is, you say is liquid transport tankers, is that a good move? Yes. Yes, liquid transport in the tankers, that's definitely a good move. But I'll take you up a step further. Get your hazmat. Hazmat tankers is the way to go. If you could find somebody that's going to take that truck with a hazmat tanker, I would definitely go that direction because um, it's just it's just the way to go, man. It's just something to look at because uh, tankers tankers is pretty lucrative. It's pretty heavy. It's definitely um, it's definitely heavy. It's not one of them places where you're going to go and you're going to get a light load. Whatever you're getting, they're going to fill you up. They're going to fill you up with liquid. And you're going to be rocking and rolling with that full uh, full capsule of milk or liquid nitrogen or, you know, flammable uh, liquid or, uh, you, you know, whatever you call it. It's just uh, I definitely I definitely would say go for it because I got a buddy that was actually working in uh, in tank in the tanker industry. And I got another buddy where I had I ran into a guy and I was talking to him and he was running milk. He said he wasn't really making money. He said that his, his loads is always heavy, so he was getting crap for fuel mileage. And he said that, um, like, he, he hated it, and he wanted to get out the industry. But then I got my buddy. He was uh, running a uh, 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 tanker, hazmat tanker. And that dude was making a killing. He was making checks for three, four, five thousand dollars in a week. He was making a killing. He was over the road and he was killing them. But he had a uh, he had just a, a freight liner with a sleeper. So you know I don't know what's the direction you want to go in. So it's just something to look into. That's all I could say. I hope that's helpful, bro. This one gonna be pretty short. I would say definitely if you're gonna go into liquid um, transport, I would say definitely go for it. And if you could possibly look in the flatbed as well, that's definitely an avenue that you could cross. But I don't know a lot about gliders, man. I don't know what it is. Um, that That's basically what it is. I could possibly do some more Googling and see what it is and probably come back with some. But from what I understand, you know, um, it, it, definitely, it definitely would be lucrative to go into tanker. It definitely, I'm not against that. I'm not against going in the tanker. I'm definitely not against that. So I hope that's helpful. And maybe even look into car car hauling. 
that's another one that's pretty lucrative. So I hope that's helpful. This your boy Tunchi, man. Johnny Boy Wonder, thank you for subscribing, man, and being a, a follower of YBE TV, man. I really appreciate it. You already know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. YBE. Drug dealer and killing is going on in my town. Yeah, don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.